My name is Paul Adler. You're on the uh, beautiful island of Martha's Vineyard off of the coast of Massachusetts. And today I'm going to introduce you to another type of collecting the sun's rays. It's called a parabolic concentrator, which you can see in the background. And I've installed this on my home here on Martha's Vineyard. You can see my house in the background. These, behind these trees here is a swimming pool, which is also being heated by this parabolic concentrator. A concentrator is a different type of method of harnessing the sun's rays. Uh, traditionally, most people are familiar with those flat panel boxes or the other type of system is called evacuated tubes, and they work fine, but this type of system is a lot more powerful. It can be used on large homes. It can be used mainly for commercial purposes, heating hot you know, hotel hot water and car washes and industrial plants. This is a, a much more efficient and a much more powerful way of heating the hot water. Let's take a look at the concentrator. This is a parabolic concentrator. It's about a 15 feet diameter. Um, up, uh, up here is where the, it's sort of like a reverse magnifying glass. The sun is collected in this dish, points to the collector up there, which is only 10 inches by 10 inches. They also call that the absorber. That's that steel box up there. And the sun is collected up there. It's all focused up there. Temperatures up there are approximately 1200 degrees on a sunny day like today. And in that box up there, there's a series of copper coils. The coils are heated from the sun and then the water is transported to wherever the heated water is transported down this tube here. There's some, there's two uh, one inch uh, 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 flexible uh, pipes in that, in that conduit. And then it's under the ground all the way to the home. Let's take a look at the back of the, uh, the unit now. Now we're at the rear of the uh, concentrator. The, uh, the trademark name of this unit is called the solar beam. And that's, that's what I'm going to refer to it from now on. on the, the solar beam is held up by a uh, two foot diameter foundation of concrete. In the concrete, there's a lot of steel. I have the conduit coming from the house up through the concrete and it goes through this center pole. Inside this pole is the, uh, the hot and cold pipes going to and from the uh, solar beam. The, uh, up at this the first uh, junction up here is a worm drive. This is a two axis tracker, a, a solar beam. That's how it tracks the sun a uh, year round uh, from sunrise to sunset. It's the, one of the axes is, is a worm drive right here. This turns it on the 360 degree rotation. However, because the sun only uh, travels from east to west or northeast to, to, um, to, you know, northeast to northwest. That only really travels about two. It does travel 360 degrees, but we only use 220 degrees of it. The, uh, the, other, the, the device that controls the uh, vertical is called an actuator. This is a telescopic mount that will lift and, and drop and raise the, uh, the uh, solar beam wherever the sun angle is. Yeah, what I'm going to about to do now, this is a, uh, an eight foot piece of uh, pine lumber. I'm going to walk up the ladder and I'm going to stick the tip of this piece of wood up near the uh, collector up there or the absorber and you'll see the, the high temperatures that we can achieve. As you see, it's smoking within seconds. In the upcoming months, the uh, collector up there, or the absorber, the 10 inch by 10 inch box, is going to be replaced with a dual function unit. It's also going to be producing electricity up to 4.5 kW per hour. This is the only unit in the world that we're aware of that will do the, uh, that will also produce electricity and hot water at the same time. The main advantage of a solar beam is the efficiencies and the high temperatures that we can achieve. We track the sun from sunrise to sunset. So a traditional flat panel system that most people are familiar with um, would face this direction to the south. However, the early morning sun and the late afternoon sun over that direction would not really be utilized by the flat panels or the evacuated tubes because of the diffuse light angle. We track the sun right from, you know, sunrise to sunset, so we're getting full sun as much as you can harness. Also, we have very little exposed piping. Uh, the flat panel systems have a, a, 
their entire area is exposed piping beneath the glass that you which you can't see and in the winter time there's a lot of heat loss we have very little heat loss as we only have about 13 feet of uh, of um, exposed piping also because of the high temperatures up at that location we have about it's about 1200 degrees up there the weakened heat uh, hot water up to 200 degrees without any effort at all where the other systems in order to get 200 degree water and especially in the winter time it's uh, it's quite difficult. So this is mainly uh, for industrial and commercial uses. However, if you do have a large home and you want space heating and you have a swimming pool, it can be used on a residence.